if you run an e-commerce store, you'll have to know how to charge taxes during checkout. But before we get into actually adding tax rates, we should configure the basic tax settings. In the admin of your site, you can go to WooCommerce, Settings, and then Tax. If you're using automated taxes which we set up in the Welcome Wizard, you shouldn't have to do anything. In fact, most of the screen will be grayed out so you can't mess it up. If you're using automated taxes, you're done and you can skip to the next chapter. But if you aren't using automated taxes because you have a more complicated tax setup with Nexus and multiple tax jurisdictions, then you'll want to know how to manually configure all of these tax settings. So what I'm going to do here is temporarily disable automated taxes, save changes, and now we can make changes to our tax settings. There are a lot of options on this screen. If you want to know why this screen is so complicated it's so that WooCommerce can be configured to work in just about any country. Most of this you won't need. But there are a few settings that we should touch on. The first is how you want to display your taxes. Displaying prices excluding tax is common in United States. So you display the product price at $9.99 on the product page, and the tax gets added during the checkout and may make it more expensive. Tax-inclusive prices are common in Europe. They show the price of the product with taxes included so nothing gets added at checkout. If you see a product for $10 you pay $10 at checkout. Unless you have a very unique situation, I recommend setting all of your inclusive, exclusive settings to the same value. So exclusive here and exclusive here and here. The calculate tax based on setting will likely be set to shipping address. There are a couple of options here. Usually, you calculate taxes based on where the person is buying from, either their shipping address or their billing address. If you go with the bottom option, you basically use your local tax rate for every single transaction. Check with your tax professional if you think you need this setting. Another setting you might want to look at is display tax totals at the bottom of the screen. I've seen this in different formats in physical brick and mortar stores and online stores. Basically, if you have multiple overlapping taxes, WooCommerce is asking you if you want to merge them together or if you want to list them separately. So you might have a state tax and then if you're in a special zip code there's sometimes extra taxes. For example, if you're in a city that has a public sports team, there might be a stadium tax. You could list these separately on the checkout page. Generally speaking, users don't need to know exactly where every cent of tax is going. I recommend merging all of your taxes together. Automated taxes can really help you set some of these defaults. But whether you choose to use automated taxes or you manually set these settings, you should always double check these with a tax professional and then click Save Changes to make sure everything is saved. In an earlier video, we covered our general tax settings, but we didn't cover the tax rates themselves. Let's go ahead and add tax rates to our store. In the admin under WooCommerce, Settings, and then Tax, you can see all of the different options for tax rates. If you don't see any rates here, it's probably because you have automated taxes turned on. If you want to use automated taxes, you can skip this video because the automated taxes feature will automatically import the tax rates for you the first time someone goes through the checkout. Otherwise, click into standard rates, and you should see one item here as long as you've gone through the checkout at least once. This works great when you have one location, but if you have a warehouse in, say, California, now we have Nexus in California, and now we need to charge taxes for anyone from California. So let's go ahead and insert a new row. So the country code will be the same, US, and there's a list of them here. The state code will be cough for California, and let's use a made-up rate of 2% and a made-up tax name. Now, you can further refine this to specific zip codes in California if you want, and it applies to anyone in the state. So I'm going to head and leave this empty so it'll apply to anyone in California. This priority setting at the end can be a bit confusing for some people. Think of it as a way to only enforce one tax rule at a time. So you can have any number of priorities, but only one from each level will be applied at a time. A really simple setup would be one priority for country-level taxes, a separate priority for state-level taxes, and a third for zip code-level taxes, and maybe a fourth for municipality-level taxes. It's there to make sure you don't apply multiple tax rates when you shouldn't. Think of it as a safety. So, so far, I've added a specific tax rate for California, but let's say that a specific zip code has an additional tax rate. I'm going to add a new row. I'll do the same thing I did before, US, California. And now it's a specific zip code within California. And it has a special tax rate. This is all well and good. But right now because of the priority, only one of these will be correct. So I'm going to change the priority to two if they're in California. 
and the zip code, they'll have a 2.5% tax. Let's go ahead and save our changes, and that's all we need to do for our standard tax rates. In an upcoming video, we'll also look into reduced rate rates and zero rate taxes. If you have products that have a reduced or no tax, you'll have to enter those special rates here, just like we did for our standard rates. Just like we did for our standard rates. Before you launch your store, before you launch your store, I highly recommend that you check all of these numbers. I highly recommend that you check all of these numbers with a tax professional to confirm with a tax professional to confirm that you're collecting the right amount of taxes, that you're collecting the right amount of taxes. We set up our standard rates which is great for most stores, but some goods require extra tax rules. For example in the US, depending on which area you're in some types of food, clothing, or medicine will have either a reduced tax rate or be tax exempt. To set these up, go to the admin and under WooCommerce, Settings, Tax, you can see reduced rate rates and zero rate rates. Let's say the supplement we sell has a reduced rate. I'm going to go ahead and add a reduced rate and then apply it to that supplement product. So let's go to reduced rate and before I go I'm just going to remember that the Colorado tax is 8.31. So I'll add a new row here. I'll add all the information I had before and instead of 8.31 I'll put in 4.31. I'll go ahead and save these changes and now we have a tax setting saved. But WooCommerce doesn't know which products use the reduced rate rate and which products use the standard rate rate. So let's go to products, B complex, and tax class is now set to reduced rate. Click update. And now WooCommerce knows that this product uses a special tax class and is calculated separately. Go ahead and do this with all of your reduced rate and zero rate products. Just make sure to check with a tax professional before you launch your store. So far everything we've done has been manual and requires a bit of effort on your part. If you want to save yourself a bit of work setting all this up, there's a number of services that can automate your tax collection and even help you file taxes at the end of the year. This can be a major time saver. There are a number of solutions out there, but one of my favorites is Tax Jar. The lowest plan is $17 a month, and for the amount of time it saves you at the end of the year, this could be very cost effective. If you aren't using automated taxes and you want to save yourself some time, Tax Jar is one of the best options out there. You can sign up and install their free plugin and automate most of the work with your taxes. And they also offer some of those premium services, like helping you file your sales tax in multiple states. And just in case you want to see how much they know about taxes, I encourage you to look at one of their state guides for sales tax. They are very thorough and these people know a lot about taxes. 